What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So let's start this video with Andrew Yacht, who is ready to win Texas Pro in four weeks time and earn the third Olympia qualification of his career. A special thanks to William Warnock for posting this teaser of him training alongside Andrew Yacht, Wesley and the greatest of all time, Ronnie Coleman. So towards the end of this video, we got to see just a glimpse of what Andrew is looking like at four weeks out of the show. So Andrew is for sure gonna be in shape for this one. Do not be surprised if he shows up in the best condition that we have ever seen on him because his body is so fresh and the fact that Andrew finally had some months to focus on just making improvements, to focus just on the off season. So this can be a game changer for him as well. And I am talking about in terms of his Olympia placings because if Andrew can fix some things, he can beat anyone in the men's open bodybuilding. The question is how long it's gonna take him to get that thickness in the side of his legs, to get more hamstrings, to get more back thickness. At this point, I have to say it is too early to say. Because if we look at the back thickness of let's say Hadi Chopin or Derek or even Nick Walker, they are just on a different level. But Andrew has three shots, the front double biceps, the front lat spread and abs and thigh, which are some of the best in the business. So this is gonna be a very good year for Andrew Jack. So in my opinion, the only thing that can hinder Andrew Jack from getting better in a few years from now, that is his age. Because he's currently 39 years old. But then again, his professional career just started in 2022. And that's the good side of it. It's only his third year as a professional. So Andrew was top 5 in the world last year. And that Andrew wasn't even at his best. Still, that was good enough for the judges to place him 5th. So how high do you guys think Andrew is gonna place this year? Can he crack into that top 3? Can he place even further than that? Do let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Next up, we have an update from Hunter Labrador, who is now 8 weeks out of Italy Pro. So this year, Hunter had a very long offseason, especially in comparison to 2023, because back then his first contest was Tampa Pro, which he won, and then he did Texas Pro as well, but he placed second behind Andrew Jatt. So this year, Hunter is competing very close to the Olympia, roughly 4 weeks before the big show. So this was a very long and a very productive offseason for Hunter. So the main focus for Hunter and his coach this year, that was to fix his digestion problems. And I think it's pretty safe to say that they were able to fix that. And that is one of the reasons why Hunter was touching 300 pounds. And that too in a great offseason condition. Plus, he was able to pull vacuums at such a high body weight. So this was Hunter's biggest and the leanest offseason of his career so far. And that is why he is so confident that this year at Italy Pro, the fans are gonna see him in a better condition than even his best ever so far. And that was Tampa Pro last year. So with an extra 5 to 7 pounds of solid muscle on that frame, and even with that same kind of condition, he's gonna be so dangerous. So Hunter has got an insane amount of detail doing leg extensions. And when we talk about the range of motion, the way Hunter is doing those deep reps on the leg press, so slow and so controlled, that is absolute perfection. So Hunter is a big guy, and he has got a tons of muscle on his frame. I mean, the guy has thickness from every angle. And to gather all these things, that makes him a solid contender for the top 5 finish, especially at this year's Miss Olympia. The Brazilian mass monster William Martins, he just posted a new physique update, in which he is weighing 310 pounds. So I'm not really sure whether going that much heavy in terms of his weight, that benefits him or not, especially with the kind of structure that he has. So the biggest knock on his physique is his waistline. He has got a very wide waist, and if he is pushing 300 pounds over and over again, obviously that comes with more gear and more food. And that much amount of food, that is also a major factor, contributing towards the thickness of his waistline. So I'm not really sure how many of you guys will agree with this, but I think William Martins looked at his absolute best when he was working with Chris Zito back in 2022. He was working with Chad Nichols last year, and he pushed his weight up to 330 pounds in the offseason, and then he did in sports afterwards. He lost to guys who were more than 50 pounds lighter than him. And this year when William did Arnold Brazil, he placed fourth behind Rafael Brandao, Tony Burton and Godvito. And he was really shredded at this past show. So unless he does something to shrink his waistline, which by the way isn't really possible, you can only create an illusion with a vacuum. So that is the only option for William Martins moving forwards. So if he cannot fix his waistline, he can maybe win a show if he chooses that show more strategically. But there is just no way he's gonna be able to place high especially at the Olympia level. Next up, we have an update from Big Rami. Credits to who is the best bodybuilder for pointing that out. But it seems like Big Rami isn't doing the Olympia this year, and who knows whether he will ever compete again or not. 
so we can also see that the angle at which some of these pictures and videos are taken. That can also impact the size of a specific muscle group. But the thing is, Big Rami has never needed any angles to look big because the guy has always been really massive. That is why he was given this nickname. So based on this update, he doesn't look like a guy who's going to be making his return to the Olympia stage. And Olympia right now is less than three months away. And everyone who is a contender for the title, they are deep in their groove, making sure they show up at their all-time best. Now, as a big Rami fan, we would want nothing but to see him back up there. Because many, including me, think that he was unfairly placed at his last show, which was the Arnold 2023. Because why all of a sudden his huge legs, they became a problem for the judges. Because it has always been that way. And yes, you can say because of his atrophy triceps, all of his front shorts looked kind of disappointed top to bottom, especially at his last Olympia appearance. But the thing is, he was massively improved for the Arnold Classic, and still he was only able to place fourth. We need to see Big Rami on the stage one last time, because he's a two times Miss Olympia champion, one of the craziest physiques that we have ever seen in bodybuilding. So even if he decides to retire, he should go out like a superstar. When Pro Show is going down tomorrow, and the guys have already checked in, John and Stanimal both posted same new updates, and here they are. So shout out to John Jewett. It's like the guy is putting out those tutorials on how to peak 100%, how to go through those last two days in terms of food and water. Obviously, it is different for every individual based on their genetics and where they are at that point and how they look. But that is some real knowledge right there that is putting out there. So that one update that John posted after his last workout, that could be the best look of John we have ever seen. Yes, part of it is because he's fully pumped. But man, I have to say the condition on this guy. That is absolutely top notch. Just take a look at those hamstrings. They are absolutely ripped to shreds. And that conditioning of his is one of the major reasons. I think he's the favorite going into this show. And although this is going to be John's last show of the season, but in case he wins this one, he is definitely doing the Olympia in October this year. Now, let's talk about Stanimal. So I think Stan and his coach Patrick must have pushed really hard to get that kind of granny conditioning in the final push. That backlash spread on Stan now looks a very strong shot for him because he has added so much thickness and so much weight. The side chest is also a great shot for him. So what really makes Stanimal so unique here in Van Pro lineup is that all the other guys, Beef Stew, Tim Bodicium, even John Dewitt, they have done at least one show before. And Van Pro show is going to be Stan's first show of the season. So he is 100% fresh and ready to make his mark. So I'm going to say this again. This show is wide open. And Stanimal has a real shot of winning this one and getting to the Olympia stage for the very first time in the men's open bodybuilding. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.